Hi folks. So I've got a bit of a how to video here um, for Nitro Car base settings and setting them up. So we've got an FTX Carnage NT, which is a good entry level Nitro model. Um, it shares the same 18 engine, which is now a Force 18 engine in the new versions, as the FTX Zorro as well, or Toro. Um, so we're going to run through the base engine settings first. Um, okay, so you've got, if you can see here, this is your high speed needle, it's your main mixture setting. So this is the main needle you adjust um, when you, you're tuning the engine as well. So to check your base settings, if you get a flathead screwdriver, if you go to the needle, turn it clockwise till it stops. Don't over tighten it though. Turn it back out three and a half full turns. So half, one, half, two, half, three, half. That's your base setting for that. You've also got, turn the car around. If you can see there, that's your low speed needle. So we're going to do the same thing again. So this controls like your fuel mixture um, from when you're setting off at the low end and it can also affect your idle as well so if you turn that clockwise till it stops again don't over tighten it then three and a half back out so half one half two half three half so you've got the base setting there now you've got another setting needle on the carb, which you're going to have to turn it around again, which is your low speed needle, um, no sorry, your idle screw, which basically adjusts the tick over, so when in the car sat still it adjusts the revs, so if you turn this small screw here, flathead again, if you turn it in, so that increases the revs, if you turn it out, it decreases the revs. So to see it better, are you setting better? Take your air filter off your carb. So then, if you look down your carb, so your metal slide, full throttle, if you let go. What you want is when you push the brakes, for the carb slide not to close. If it closes, then the engine will stall when you apply the brakes. Um, so yeah, you want a prox two mil gap between the carb slide and the body, so. If I turn the screw to the right, it's opening carb rear, so that increases the revs. If you turn it to the left, it's closing it, so it decreases the revs. So you always check that when you're braking, it's not closing it fully. You don't want your idle set too high, because if the car will start to edge, move off on its own. And then you don't want to try and stop it doing that by applying the brakes, because you'll melt your clutch. So. You want to get your idle setting nicely. You can only mainly do that, getting your two mil gap, then starting it up, and then finishing your idle setting from there. So if it's revving too high, turn the screw to the left gradually, the revs will decrease. If revving too low, turn it to the right, the revs will increase. So there's your base settings. Um, so now you're ready to, to get and go and start your car. So we'll do that in the next video in part two. So if you've got any questions, feel free to comment like the video, subscribe, dislike the video if you didn't like it, um, any tips on how I could make it better. Thanks a lot.